Welcome to AEI Security. In this video, we will explain how to correctly set up and operate your Solar Protect wireless alarm system. Before installing your Solar Protect console, it is important to consider its optimum location. Because it is solar powered, it is best mounted on a south facing wall as this will prolong the battery life. Also consider the distance between the console and the detectors. This system uses radio signals so it is best to keep all detectors within 20 meters of the console. Firstly, Lay out the contents of your Solar Protect wireless alarm system. Remove the back cover of the console as shown and connect the battery. Make sure red is connected to red, black to black and place in its housing. Now press the start button. Remove the back cover of the remote control and insert the supplied 23A 12 volt battery. Remove the front cover of the PIR and switch the mode selector to test. Now connect the supplied PP3 9 volt battery. The red LED will illuminate briefly to confirm the battery is installed correctly. Remove the front cover of your magnetic transmitter and insert the supplied 23A 12 volt battery. Make sure the small spring is securely fitted to the tamper switch as shown. On the PIR and magnetic transmitter there are three dip switches. These are used to set them to a specific zone allowing detectors to function differently during day-to-day -day operation. Leave them set as shown and then refit the covers. To install the Solar Protect console, mark the position of the screws and drill the appropriately sized holes. Insert the plastic plugs Fit and hang the console on the screws securely. To install the PIR, fix the mounting bracket to your desired location and then slide the PIR on the bracket. Note that whenever the PIR detects movement, the red LED will flash. This only occurs when it is set to test mode. When installing the magnetic transmitter, the magnetic contact should be no more than one centimeter away from the transmitting body, and you should test this a number of times to ensure the red LED illuminates each time you open the door. The system is set to test battery change mode by default when first powered up. And when testing your detectors, the Solar Protect console will emit a number of chirps corresponding to the zone they are set to. Firstly, let's test the PIR. Wave your hand to trigger it. The Solar Protect console has emitted two chirps. This confirms we have a good reception and that the PIR is indeed set to zone two. Next, we will test the magnetic transmitter. Go ahead and open the door or window that it's attached to. The console will emit one chirp and this confirms we have a good reception and that the magnetic transmitter is set to zone one. 
Exit the test battery change mode now by pressing the disarm button on your Solar Protect remote control. The console will emit one beep to confirm. Now let's unmount the PIR from its wall bracket and remove the front cover. Set the mode switch to normal and refit and remount the PIR. The arm button on your Solar Protect remote control will arm your system when pressed. The console will emit three beeps to confirm the system is armed. To disarm the system, simply press the disarm button and the console will emit one beep to confirm. Pressing the panic button will trigger the system instantly regardless of whether it's armed or disarmed.